So we have a Toyota Corolla. This is a very popular model. And we have Marilyn here. She is going to be the uh, helper here. So that's all, all the wires you need. It's the man. So the first time you turn it on, oh, so it, sh it does show the doors open. All right, so we have the dash trim that, so we're gonna have to transfer this tra dash trim over to the new one. Um, so far, it looks like you just plop it out and we're gonna have to reuse these switches too. So for an example, it's this hazard button. It just comes right out and you just kind of transfer to your new one. Just go this way. Okay, there you go, it was upside down. So you still, you, it, oh wow, that looks nice. Nice fitment. It just clamps right in, no issues there. Um, same with this one right here. I don't know how to pop it out. Okay, this one's a little bit more involving where there's some clips, so you probably need to use a flat head for this part. But um, as far as these other ones, it looks like it's just held by clips. And we're just plopping it out. It is kind of messy. There you go. So we're gonna transfer this to the new one. And, uh, oh. <laughs> She's wondering if this will fit. Um, it should, it should. It's tailored for this car. I'm hoping that in 2018 or whatever, they didn't change it and stuff like that. So we're still gonna reuse this. And this trim, we're gonna save for our old unit. We just need to pop this out, which is a little bit more engaging. So we'll get to that. There's just these two little like little clips right here that extrudes out and I just use a flathead to remove it. You don't have to remove these inner ones, just the outer ones. You got two right here and you got two right there. So this whole piece comes off and remember we're, we're going to reuse this. So we're going to plop it in the back of this head unit right here. Oh, that was a good snap. So you got that good fitment. What do you think? Just like OEM, right? It's not, it looks like it belongs there. It's not like it's not supposed to belong there. Sweet, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna unplug all the plugs we just did so we can install the dash a little bit cleaner. So it shouldn't be too hard. There's no real clips that go in right here. Just the bottom ones. Huh. One would think that it would be as simple as just put it in like this. Definitely want to be careful with the screen since we, we went full ham and took off the screen protector <laughs> before we finished installing it. All right, we'll, we'll try to figure it out and then we'll, we'll, we'll show you. All right, check it out. So the fitment is insanely good. Um, it's just as good as OEM. And we're gonna just plop it in and see how it looks like. Fitment, it has to be the key. So let's get it. I forgot to mention is there's these four yellow clips, these nice yellow clips that we need to transfer over to the new unit. That way it will clip on and it will stay on. Um, so yeah, to, to do the clips, you just simply, you can use a flathead. I don't know if I can use my finger, but it's just, they just come off like this. So now we have this clip right here and we put it right here. So now it can clip on without having any issues. You want good fitment, boys. When I was trying to fit this, this part wasn't laying flush to this. And you can actually see little marks right here where there's these tabs that were just hitting it. So I actually just snipped off the, uh, I just snapped it off. There's, well, there was a one, two, three. I don't know if your variation right here might be different than what I have, but for my case, you can kind of see this was hitting it. And there was one right here. And there was also one that was kind of like hitting it right here. So I removed that and this should help with the fitment because it was about a centimeter too far out. And it was just making the fitment all wonky around this area. So yeah. It's so I had to shave it a little bit more up the top right there. This piece, it fit, but it had like a millimeter gap. And you know, we can't do that, so. We shaved it a little bit here and uh, hopefully we should have a good fitment because we're having it like issues around this area. 
So we do have it fully clipped in. Some of these clips we had to break off for that best fitment. But you know, check out this line right here. So you definitely when you want when you're working with this, make sure the fitment line right there. It's definitely the most tricky on your what you have a 2015. So a 2015 Corolla, um, you just had to like break those clips off. Um, but other than that, the fitment's good. Um, it's it's in here good. There's multiple. Uh, there's four clips and then two additional ones that we have hooked up to the dash and then you have the oem ones that clip around the top too so yeah look at that let's close it wow, wow. All right guys, so we have the head unit fully installed, nice and good fitment, but we wanted to make sure everything is working. So the first thing, let's let's try steering wheel controls. So hit volume up, volume down. Um, let's go back to the Bluetooth, because we need to try out song skip and all that. So song skip, let's... There you go. Cool. I don't know, there's a lot of buttons on her, her, her thing. I don't know exactly what they do, but we can check. So let's hit pause. Okay, or just make the volume go down. Um, for you that, so you're like, hey, I don't know I don't know what these buttons do, or I wanna change it. I want this button to be like, I don't know, home button or whatever. And the, under the settings, Marilyn, you go settings, back to car. You see how it says steering wheel controls mm -hmm. or keys? You can map it to whatever you want. I would just keep it stock because it looks like it's working the way it is and you can fiddle around this you want to keep this on so you can watch youtube while you're driving <laughs> <laughs> just saying if you don't want, it's it's there if you don't want to watch youtube while you're driving um extra settings what this is let's do auto sleep so what this is is it basically means like when you turn your car on um how, does, does the head unit instantly boot? Remember when we first turned it on, it took like 20 seconds to like, it showed the Toyota sign, it showed the Andro, and it took kind of long. This makes your car put in sleep mode, so when it turns it on, it's real fast. Uh, allow play, you, we can just keep that on. If you plug in a USB that has music in it, it automatically starts playing it. Reverse X mirror, reverse volume. Do you want to have your, when you when uh, press the brakes? So when you, when you put it in reverse, do you want it to have audio? Yeah. Yeah, so let's just have it. Right now it's off, which is kind of like, uh, it, there's, there's a thing where people in like, out of other like, who are more focused, when you back up, you're at your most vulnerable spot. So the head unit can automatically turn off the music for you mm -hmm. until you put it to drive. So that's what we're, we, we turn it on because we want, we want sound still, okay? We don't want it to, when you're reversing, you still have your music on. We don't want the volume to be off parking display you don't i don't think you have any of that stuff so yeah let's not worry about that other than that that's pretty much it we already check up on the elements so there's different colors with the corolla the corolla it's a blue interior so let's go with the blue lights um yeah so do you have any questions when it comes to the head unit we have the steering wheel controls this was the bluetooth widget you can actually just hit it right here and it should play it yeah if you want to keep it that in, um, interface. Mm -hmm. So you were playing with the head unit earlier. What were you What were you looking at? Go ahead. I was looking at all these apps. I don't know what this was. So, I so this it. is what this is. It's called a launcher. So it makes it kind of look like a car, like a like you're kind of like your home head unit. Uh, so if, do you like this layout or do you like the way the other one looks? The other one. So yeah, if you want the other one, then you can do that. There's also a bunch of other. Um, like launchers which is basically your home screen if you want to change that um, this is a file browser so kind of like a computer you have different folders and um, things like that chrome that's self-explanatory right yeah. the web browser gallery if you want pictures and stuff um, yeah okay. well you can play with that later okay uh, easy connect is if you plug in a um, you can mirror your phone uh, I'm not sure how that really works Turn on AirPlay and select EC AirPlay. Do you have AirPlay? I don't know what AirPlay is. Oh. Yeah, I try that. So on our phone, oh, let's, if you can show the audience, it has like EC AirPlay. 
And then what does it say right here? Slide up on the phone. Okay, you selected it, right? Now what? Can you mirror it? Hey, slide up and hit the screen mirror. It says a screen mirror uh, on the iPhone. Uh, <laughs> so I guess... I don't know when this would be... Okay, can't kind of play, but go on Instagram real quick. If you guys want to follow her, her Instagram tag is right here. <laughs> you got two of them. <laughs> hold, can you hold the... Oh, you can't hold it sideways, right? Yeah, so you get, I can. Uh, can you control this? Am I controlling your phone right now? Okay, so I can't control it, but it is a... It's a mirror display. So that's cool. Nice. Uh, I don't know why... Uh, I guess you, if you had uh, Waze on your phone or something like that, or other thing like Discord or YouTube, or you have like funny videos, you could do something like that. So that's what that app was right here. Easy connect. Okay. So that's that's cool. I mean, that's cool, right? You got you got easy connect on your iPhone. I actually never did that before because I'm an Android and the process was a little bit more difficult. Yours was really easy. So let's go back to home. Dad Plus, you don't have it, so don't worry about it. That pretty much is HD radio for overseas and we don't have that. DVR, we also don't have. You can hook up a camera to the, like your phone, and that would be your dash camera. So you don't have that either. So if you wanted, you can just delete the app. I think somehow. I don't know how, but you can remove it somewhere. APK installer. That basically means if you want to install applications, kind of like not through the internet, but through a flash drive. That's what that's for. Amplifier is your sound quality. So let's play a song real quick. Like your favorite song. Your favorite song that you know very well. Uh, that's hard. I uh, just play that same song, that one. And I'm in a sheet of uh, Or you can play Old Town Road, you know. You <laughs> I'm gonna get, you're gonna get copyrighted. I'm gonna mute that. There, there's this one. This, this has bass. Maybe it's not with bass. Are you playing it? Oh, I might have. Oh, I think it was the Bluetooth thing. Because we were in the other oh. app. So we got a Bluetooth. Do you like that boop boop sound? Yeah. I can get rid of it. So we're playing this song, and then we can go to the EQ. Because I want some bass, because this head unit is the Decida head unit. Um, when does the bass hit? So there's all these options you can change. You're about to watch a YouTube, about to go to a rave, and then your heart is a rave, because you got a big ass flash all these lights. Alright, uh, so what do you think of the sound quality versus your OEM unit specifically? It's more. So what do you mean by more? Because we have the OEM unit back there, and we have the new unit from Big. This is, remember, this is the PX6. This is it has internal DSP, so you get a lot of power um, out of the speakers. But did, did you notice like you who really doesn't know much about audio or really care about this kind of stuff do you notice that the bass is harder because you listen to edm and rave and a bunch yeah. of bass hitters tracks, <laughs> yeah. like the volume when we go like what yeah. this is already you already kind of you kind of feel it right yeah, you, you can kind of hear the bass already at seven it's already hitting hard yeah and, it, and it's clear right it's not yeah. like distorted sometimes uh, some head units when you turn it up too much it starts to sound like a piece of paper flapping like you know? Cause the old one, I had to hit 30 or 35 just for a loud bass. Really? So <laughs> this one, like, it, the volume's low, but there's already bass, yeah. and it's only like at one. <laughs> so like, yeah, there's def. So there's, you you would say there's definitely an improvement when it comes to sound quality. Yeah. That's good. And this is the EQ we have it right now. So that's cool. So that's the EQ. There's a little shortcut right here too. I guess that this is the brightness science. Yeah. It's a little little shortcut. You got the settings, the EQ. I don't know what this is. Microphone. Oh, for call? Yeah, it's for call. I don't... Oh, it's for... Is oh, that... it's for Siri. You activate a Siri. Really? So we can get... So that button right there, we can play any song? It, it, it activates Siri. Really? That's cool. Open Spotify. There you go. So you get that. So it automatically opens Spotify for you if you have that. That's pretty convenient, right? Yeah. So we got the Spotify and yeah, that's awesome. Here you go. Um, oh, I know Gagan would love this. Calculator. <laughs> so <laughs> if, if you're trying to like do some math real quick, like what's pi and stuff, you got you got all that information right here, okay? And look how wide it is. That's great. <laughs> so you got, the, okay, so you got the amplifier, DVR we don't have. Again, we have clock which is um, 
I don't know, if you're, you're trying to race somebody and you're just like, hey, what? <laughs> yeah, that, that vehicle. So uh, I think your head unit had information about your car too, mm -hmm. right? So like you can look at your average MPG. Um, obviously we haven't been moving in the last 20 minutes mm -hmm. or whatever. So we don't have the best MP MPG. And wow, it, it actually shows your tire pressure. Oh. Didn't know that. So that's really nice. It's in KPA, which is not something you know, right? Because it does show the... I don't know what that means because what in the United States we use PSI, not KPA, so we should be able to change that. But that's kind of cool that it has like it still has like your full like your fuel information. You can check out how good your MPG is. It looks like it's around 40. That's cool. So you still retain that information. Um, front camera you don't have calculator TPMS. That's the. Uh, that's if you want to have aftermarket tire pressure monitors, which you already have right there, so you don't need it. Gmail, self-explanatory, control settings. So, um, did your head unit have these options too? I don't so, know. like volume, back door, all this stuff. Auto lock from park shift. Yeah. So when when you when you put into drive, it automatically put locks your car. No. Right, let's put it in drive. You see how you see how your door is locked? Yeah. Was, did it used to be like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, if you don't know, now you can you you can do it right there. See, when you shift to park, mm -hmm. it will unlock your doors. Awesome. When you shift to, if you want to turn that off, whatever, uh, press to, uh, remote to press unlock. I don't know what that is. Lock on back, I uh, get that. And you just have a lot of operations you probably never know about. Auto unlock by driver door. I don't know what that is. You got the auto AC, daytime running lights on, display off, sonar. You don't have parking sensors on your car, do you? No. Uh, okay. What's this? Small screen. Wireless lock when door open. Convenience auto door unlock. Well, you you have that, okay? Yeah. Whatever that is. If you're like, hey, you're trying to press your friends, you can flex on them. Google Maps. Play Store, TV. So if you want to download more apps, you can go here. And then finally, a uh, will key study is that um, steering wheel controls. I, I wouldn't mess with that because your stuff is already working. And then this is your navigation. Let's say your phone's dead and you don't know where the hell you're going. Even though we have all these USBs, so you should be able to never be like, I'm stranded. You can go to here and then you'll have GPS. This is GPS. Mm -hmm. And then we got the YouTube right here. Which is, uh, it could be a bl You can actually download Netflix too if you want Netflix. <laughs> but again, that is up to you. You're responsible. I don't want you to anything to happen. And then we have USBs in here, if you remember. So if you're charging your friend's phone or, you know, he's hogging it, you have USB right there. Okay? okay. Any questions? No, thank you. So what, what are your thoughts on this head unit? I thought it wouldn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fit. It, it is massive and... Uh, uh, it looks great though. It looks great. So looks wise, it looks great. Mm -hmm. What about sound quality? Sound quality, I like it a lot. Oh, Ooh. Kind of auto, auto goes to that. And what about performance? It looks pretty smooth, right? I was running that YouTube video and stuff yeah. like that, no problem. Everything was going smooth. Anything else you want to say? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, that concludes the Decida. This is the Maxi uh, Max 6 with the PX6. Uh, Let me just show you the specs real quick. We have the storage. You have 64 gigs of onboard storage on here, which is really nice. And then you have a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. So you actually have a micro SD card in this too. So you have a lot of storage. What, 16 plus 64? You do the math. That's like, <laughs> that's 80, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so you got 80, 80 gigs on this. So if you want to load up, uh, what I did was um, I load a bunch of um, Studio Ghibli. So when I was driving to LA, we were watching, um, well, I wasn't watching, I was driving, mm -hmm. but my passengers were watching Studio Ghibli movies on this because you can play videos while you're driving. Mm -hmm. And of course you can use your Wi-Fi hotspot, but having higher quality videos already on your 80 gigs, um, you're set there. Uh, as far as, uh, 
processor. Let me just just for the guys right here. Um, this one is using the RK3399, which is the fastest Android head unit processor right now. She probably has no idea what that means, but the PX6 is the fastest. You know, I, I try to, you know, this is my cousin, so I try to give her the best of the best. You got the Android 9.0 with the, uh, there's a processor and four gigs of RAM. That's the way to do it. You want four gigs of RAM uh, for the smoothest, and then you want the PX6. The PX3 is way too slow. I wouldn't recommend that processor, but anything like a PX5 or PX6 is just phenomenal. PX6 is, of course, the best. Uh, that wraps it up. If you guys were looking for this head unit, links down below. If you guys have questions, put comments, and of course, like and comment and subscribe if you guys haven't for more Android head unit content. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. Nice.